Hi, we are collecting this video for coolgrad.com and you agree that it's you give it out of your own consent? Yes. Okay. So please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Safwat and I am a PhD student here in Electrical Engineering at UT San Antonio. So uh, PhD or Masters? PhD. PhD. So when do you plan to graduate? Uh, I'm graduating this semester, uh, end of December. 2016? Yes. So when did you start the program? Uh, I came here in 2013, fall. So it's just three and a half years? Yes. Getting a PhD? Yes. It's quite fast. Yes, because I have a master's before, so it doesn't take me too much here to do the PhD. I see. So where did you do your master's? Uh, I did my master's in Singapore. I see. When? Uh, that was back in 2000. It ended in 2013. Oh, which university in Singapore? Uh, it was uh, Nanyang Technological University. Oh, NTU. NTU. I see. So uh, what about your undergrad? Uh, my undergrad was back in Bangladesh. I see. So, um, which university? Uh, that one was American International University in Bangladesh. Okay, so what was your like undergraduate GPA? Uh, it was quite good, it was about, above 3.8. Okay, and then soon after that did you do uh, masters or did you have work experience? Uh, I worked in Singapore and I did my masters as a part-time there. I see, so, oh, so it was like work while you... Uh, yes. Uh, and work and study at the same time. Yes. So how many years program was that? Uh, that one that one took two years for me. Okay, and uh, you were working also for two years? Yes. I see. Where were you working? Uh, I was in the semiconductor industry there. I see. So, um, did you ha have any kind of uh, funding at Singapore, NTU? Uh, no, not really, because part-time students don't really get that, so I had did to Did your company it. sponsor you? Uh, no, they also didn't do that. I had to pay it myself. On your own. So, can you tell us what it was like studying in Singapore? Uh, yeah, it was since it was part time, it was a bit difficult, but uh, it was still. I felt that the facilities and the course content, those were really good, and I felt that if anybody wants to get some good exposure to a, a certain field, they should actually try NTU as well. NTU, uh, other than other as other options than coming to USA as well. Okay, so um, uh, so what was your uh, like uh, GRE and TOEFL score? Uh, my GR, my TOEFL was uh, 112, and my GRE was 310. So, did you study on your own for GRE and TOEFL? Uh, yes, I did it on my own, both basically. So, why did you want to um, go to Singapore for? Uh... Well, my first job was there, so I wasn't, I wasn't very picky, so I just decided to join okay. my first. And for PhD, you are sure you wanted to come to US? Uh, yes. Why is that? Uh, because over there, I felt that. Uh, uh, because my topic was electrical engineering and I wanted to do my PhD there and NTU I went to the programs and I felt that the options are better here that's why I came here okay so which all universities did you apply to for PhD uh, I applied to some universities in uh, California uh, and also in Utah and some universities in Texas as well UT Arlington how many Austin. universities did you apply to Basically seven or eight. Can you please tell us which one? So you applied to UT Austin and then UT Austin, uh, UT San Antonio, UT San Antonio, then uh, in Utah, which was that? Uh, University of Utah. University of Utah. Salt Lake City. Yes. Then University of California, San Diego, then UC Davis. So among five, five yes, uh, yes. Actually, there's one more. Uh, University of Nevada, I think. Yes. Okay. That one. So how did you shortlist on your own or? Uh, basically, I was just looking at the, the departments and basically the field that I was interested in and I tried to see which areas, uh, what are the things that they work on and if that if I like those, then I decided to apply there. Okay. So, um, um, like, um, where all did you have offers of admission for PhD? Uh, basically, I only had it here actually because uh, since my master's was part-time, it wasn't, I didn't really have a very good GPA there. So that, I think that actually uh, Wait, your application? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, this was the only place you had admission, so it wasn't yes. very difficult to make a choice. Yes. So, you did San Antonio. So, did you have complete funding here? Uh, yes, I had funding. Uh, not complete, I would say. My, my whole PhD took about three years, so for two and a half years, I actually had some kind of funding from my professor and also from, from the department. So, you, there was complete tuition waiver? Uh, to, over here, it doesn't really work that way. You have They pay you some money and then um, then they actually uh, then they actually uh, ask you to pay the tuition and reduce the tuition, but they don't actually pay it off. Okay. Totally. So, uh, did you fund yourself? Or uh, I, mean, yes. I know you got some amount from the universities. So. Yes, I used that to fund myself and then also 
I'm sure it costs you something more than that, right? Not really. I could manage. Really? You could yeah. manage? Living expenses, everything? Yes. Okay. So how do you rate your experience here on 5 Star? Uh, I would rate about more than 4.2. On an increment of 0 0.5? Uh, 4.5. Okay. So what do you think can be better? Um, I think the research activity can be improved. And so what is your research? What do you specialize in? Uh, mine is actually low power electronics. So I think the research activity and the facilities that are here, they can try to improve it. But and In what way? like? Uh, in terms of actual hands-on things that the students can do. So basically what we're doing over here is a little bit theoretical and based on simulations, but there are possible. it is possible to make actually actual hardware or create examples of what we are So why don't you do it? I mean, why wouldn't you? Because the facilities there. There's no equipment? We can't really manufacture or fabricate the things that we are. Uh, why don't you collaborate with the industry? Uh, yeah, so that's one thing that the department, the university can help. They, I don't think they don't have too much collaboration with the industry so that we can actually go there or they can come here. So I, I don't see that happening too much. Did you know that at the time of joining? Uh, not really. I wasn't, I, I didn't have too much detail of how is it here. But So given you, I mean, if you had your life to live over again, would you come to UT San Antonio or would you go somewhere else? Uh, if somewhere else, if I could get an, uh, accepted somewhere else, maybe I would go somewhere else. But Like where, also, I mean, uh, now that you've been in this program for a while, you know what other universities are doing, right? right. So where would you rather go, I'm just saying. Um, some. Maybe, I think UT, UT Austin would have mm -hmm. been a better choice, but that's definitely a better school because it's much older. So somewhere where they have a little bit more facilities and collaboration with the industry. Okay, so um, like uh, what kind of advice do you have for future applicants? Uh, for future applicants, I would say that if, if they're really passionate about a, about, a, about a topic, then they can come here and influence the professor to actually work on that area because not all professors are going to tell you, give you a send alone project and tell you to work on it. You have to come up with your own ideas. Mm -hmm. So if you're really passionate about it, then you can come here and you can actually do quite good as well. But okay. you have to have that enthusiasm. Okay. So um, do you have a job offer yet or are you looking for no, a I'm looking for it. Right. Okay, fine. Thank you and wish you all the success. Thank you. Thank you.